Ireland, Spain, and Norway have announced the recognized Palestine as a state, which follows a long line of nations to recognize the Palestinian state. Uh, there is very little uh, in the argument now that Palestine is not a state and Palestinians don't exist because, hey, now people recognize Palestine as a state and the Palestinian state exists. Uh, there's like, what, 143 nations now that recognize Palestine as a state. So now, hopefully, these people will have a whole lot more rights. In the UN, they have uh, the UN has upgraded the membership of uh, Palestine, so now they will be able to do a whole lot more. They can't vote, but uh, the Palestinian state can file a motion to be recognized as a state by the UN and have the ability to vote on stuff. There can be no peace in the Middle East without recognition. That's the collective message from three European nations. Today, Ireland, Norway and Spain are announcing that we recognise the state of Palestine. Each of us will now undertake whatever national steps are necessary to give effect to that decision. The trio made coordinated announcements on Wednesday, making plain their intentions to officially view Palestine as a sovereign state. The time has come to move from words to action, to tell the millions of innocent suffering Palestinians that we are with them, that there is hope. Norway's Prime Minister says it's the only way to keep the two-state solution alive. The Palestinians have a fundamental, independent right to their own state. Both Israelis and Palestinians have the right to live in peace in their respective states. There cannot be... <coughs> yeah, uh, Palestinians do have the right to have their own state, no matter what the Israeli government says or the U.S. government says. Like everybody knows that the U.S. and the Israeli government are doing the best they can to prevent uh, Palestine from being an actual state because that will make it harder to commit war crimes against Palestinians if they do have their own state. Um, that's, that is why they're against the Israeli, or, uh, Palestinians having their own state. It makes it easier to commit war crimes against them. And then, like, all the defenders of the Israeli government can constantly claim, well, Palestine doesn't exist, the Palestinian state doesn't exist, so it doesn't matter what the Israeli government does to them. A two-state solution without a Palestinian state. And in other words, peace in the Middle East requires a Palestinian state. Currently, large portions of Africa, Asia, the Middle East and South America already recognise the state of Palestine, but most major Western economies do not. The trio's <coughs> move will see 146... Yeah, 146 countries uh, recognise the state of Palestine. So these few nations who don't recognise the state of Palestine do check about it. Unless they want to, like, what, I guess, go to war with all these other nations for recognizing the state of Palestine. Though this is no different than nations recognizing the state of Israel. Uh, I mean, they weren't considered a state until enough nations decided to recognize them as a state and have some diplomatic relations with them. Uh, now, if the Israeli government continues to continue their... Uh, their genocide against Palestinians, it's going to cause a lot of problems or a lot more problems with the international community since uh, they would be considered violating the sovereignty of a state. Six of the UN's 193 countries officially recognize Palestinian sovereignty. And the three leaders say they expect more nations to follow their example. I've spoken with a number of other leaders and counterparts, and I'm confident that further countries will join us in taking this important step in the coming weeks. The Palestinian presidency has welcomed the decision, but Israel has responded furiously to the news. The country's 
Egypt's finance minister says he'll withhold tax funds intended for the Palestinian Authority and the government has already recalled its ambassadors to Norway, Ireland and Spain. So the uh, Israeli government is just throwing a temper tantrum over them not getting their way and the fact that uh, 146 nations won't uh, bow down to their whims. I find it hilarious because these, like a lot of the leaders of the Israeli government are just like children who shouldn't have any kind of power whatsoever because all they do is so